All right, this is section 6.5, and we're finishing up total value problems. So this was the last problem. Here's our system in blue here from our number of stocks and our total values, giving us two equations, two unknowns. I solved that here in pink. And our final answer is here in green, 40 shares of the 725 stocks and 22 shares of the 650 stocks stocks and I have checked those. All right, how about you guys write down this problem down here, example number 32, and see what you can do with that and then come back and check your answers. Um, I'll go through the setup first and then I'll pause again and give you time to solve the system and check your final answer as well. Okay, read the problem first. A troop of Cub Scouts collects 436 returnable bottles and cans, some worth 5 cents each and the rest worth 10 cents each. If the total value of the cans and bottles was $26.60, how many 5 cents bottles or cans and how many 10 cents bottles or cans were collected? So we actually have, um, not bottles or cans, but... Um, we have bottles slash cans and that are worth low and bottles slash cans that are worth high. So let me go ahead and fix these and then we'll fill in all of our different values. So remember the first ones that we're talking about um, are going to be giving or our first sentence gives us the total number of bottles slash cans. That's 436. And then they're worth the two different values. The low ones are worth five cents. Now we want that to be in dollars because our total value is given to us in dollars. So that's point with zero five. And the others are worth point one zero. Remember there's no interaction here so I'll cross this out. And the total value, the grand total, right, the total total is worth twenty six dollars and sixty cents. And now the next thing that you need to do is give variables, right? The number of low value ones and the number of high value ones, they're not the same. It's not known that they're the same so we call them two different things, x and y. And that's going to give you your first equation. So your first equation looks like x x plus y is equal to 436. Now your second equation, that one comes from using the total value formula. The equation is multiply this times this, and that's going to give you an expression. So 0 0.05 times x, that's the value for the low ones. And then the high ones, 0 0.1 times y. And that one is going to give us our second equation because the value of the low plus the value of the high gives us our grand total of value. And so here are our two equations and our two unknowns. I'm going to go ahead and pause and I'm going to solve it. You check it, see if you get it solved correctly. That way you're practicing all your different skills. Okay, so here is the system in blue the solutions in red and in green the final solution 340 bottles slash cans worth five cents and 96 bottles slash cans worth 10 cents all right now it's your turn do the cub scout example no i'm sorry we already did the cub scout example that was it all right so let's introduce our next topic our next topic is um it's also a total value problem but these are the type that i call a um, grocery store problem and these are a little bit closer still to our mixture problems um, but a little bit more like our total value problems because they do have the total value set up but in addition they have a third multiplication which makes it a little bit more tight uh, similar to what we do as a mixture problem so let's go ahead and leave that for our next video but that is just the um, the setup here so you're going to see again a total value but instead of two different multiplications we're going to get three different multiplications so I'll see you in the next video